In this video, I will cover how to program your truck using Pack Car Vehicle Pro. To perform these functions, your truck must be equipped with the updated Kenworth Multiplex electronic system introduced in October 2018 on all 2.1 meter cab models. This electronic system features an Advanced Vehicle Electronic Control Unit, or VECU, which is a central control unit that controls both the Pack Car engine and other truck systems. The VECU controls a wide range of customizable parameters and settings on the Packcar MX engines as well as the truck to suit any application. Programming these parameters can be very easy and should only take a few minutes. All that you need is a Nexic to connect the computer to a truck, Davy access, and access to Packcar Vehicle Pro. Packcar Vehicle Pro, or PVP for short, is an application used to change software parameters on Kenworth trucks. It is a web-based program, so PVP can be accessed by any computer that is connected to the internet. This means parameter changes can be made remotely and then applied to the truck the next time it is connected to a Davy tool. If you don't already have access to PVP, work through your Kenworth dealership to set up an account. The first step to changing parameters in PVP is opening up the truck's file. To do this, enter the last eight digits of the truck's VIN in the chassis lookup search box. If you don't know the last eight digits of your VIN, it can be found on the driver's door. Once the search button has been clicked, the next screen displays the basic chassis information and lists the current parameters. To change a parameter, simply highlight the value box and enter the desired value. For this example, we will go to the PTO section and change the presets that are tied to the dash switches. Scrolling down to the PTO cab options, I will first change the preset plus minus switch function to control six presets instead of only two. Next, I can select the RPM for each individual preset. The values for the three dedicated preset switches can also be modified. In addition, they can be programmed to cancel or latch when the switch is turned off. As shown in the PTO interlock functionality video in this series, the cancel feature will exit PTO speed control when the switch is moved to the off position. The latch function will continue commanding the preset RPM once the switch is turned off until an interlock is activated. For this example, I will select cancel for preset 1 and 2 and select latch for preset 3. I will also change the preset RPMs to 800, 900, and 1000 RPM. Once the desired changes have been made, scroll to the bottom of the screen and select save and continue. PVP will now highlight the parameters that were changed and ask for confirmation. If the changes are correct, click confirm. The changes have now been saved and are ready to be uploaded to the truck. To make changes to the truck, connect a laptop to the communication port using a Nexic and then open Davy. Once Davy is open, make sure the ignition is on but the engine is stopped and click identify vehicle. Then select software in the vehicle update section. The latest software file can now be downloaded by highlighting the Vehicle Electronic Control Unit row and selecting Retrieve Software. This will download the file that was most recently modified in PVP. Once downloaded, select Update and confirm the engine speed is set to zero. This will begin the update process. After the update is finished, a large check mark will be displayed on the screen indicating the process is complete. Using the steps that I've shown you in this video, Packard Vehicle Pro can be used to change interlocks, presets, and many other functions that can be customized for your needs. 